play. I've been in the lane. And a lot of older guys this year. So we, um, you know, just coming together and trying to make a great season this season. Coach Simpson talked about how leadership is kind of by committee in the linebacker group. How do you see different people chipping in and all filling leadership roles in their own way? Oh, yeah, all across the LB room, you know, we just want to get everybody together, be a leader in their own way. So that's what we, uh, you know, just preach the team, you know, just being a leader all together. Everyone can be a leader, no matter if you play or not. Everyone's a leader, so that's what we preach. Corner, what's it been like for you? Obviously, Rich played a lot at that mic spot. Mm -hmm. What's it been like for you taking over as the, the key guy in the middle? Oh, man, uh, it's good, you know, taking that uh, ownership, that accountability, and I, uh, I'm enjoying it right now, just trying to embrace it as much as possible, you know, and help the um, team as much as possible. We talked to Coach Simpson about having the helmet. Oh, yeah. Communications. What's that transition been like for you? Oh, it's been real good, real good. Just, um, you know, playing a lot faster, hearing coach in my ear, you know, just um, getting the calls a lot quicker. So I definitely said that's a, um, a big key, a big adjustment. So I, I definitely enjoy it a lot. Yes, sir. What has the communication with Coach Borwin been like uh -huh. as part of that? Oh, it's been good, you know, real good. Just, uh, you know, signaling quicker, you know, getting the guys lined up quicker. I don't have to so much look to the sideline, but, uh, you know, kind of just, you know, listen to them. So just uh, just getting the guys lined up quicker, faster, you know, prepare us for tempo teams or, you know, just for the future. So. Was it weird the first time you heard his voice? Uh, look, it scared me a little bit, you know, hearing <laughs> Coach D, but, uh, you know, it's pretty cool. You know, I get used to it, so it's definitely a, a good adjustment, good key. Definitely. When you're out of the game, who have been some of the guys that have been filling in at that mic spot mm -hmm. behind you? Oh, we, uh, we got a lot of guys. We, we, uh, we can move guys a lot of different places, but we definitely got a lot of guys that can play multiple positions. So we got, you know, uh, Taiwan, we got JB, um, Jason Gilliam. We got a lot of guys. Fletch. It, we can just move a lot of guys in different spots. So, yes, yeah, sir. How important is it having that versatility throughout the room? Oh, it's definitely good. We um, put guys in different spots, different personnel. We can, uh, you know, change our schemes, change our pitches. So it's definitely a blessing to have different guys to play different positions. Is it different not having Rich in the room? Uh, oh, yes, yeah, a lot different. You know, we uh, we miss Rich, we miss Craig, we miss those guys a lot. But you know, uh, we got a lot of guys that's got to step up and take on the, uh, take that position. So definitely we miss them. But we got guys that can feel that. What was your first reaction when you saw John John? Run during oh, that man. workout. It was more on um, seeing his body. First of all, I, I, he's a big guy as a freshman. He could definitely run. So um, seeing him run and seeing the future that has for him, if he keep doing what he do now, it'd be great things.